First thing is to try and understand how the industry works, what departments are there, which, which people you need to deal with when you're doing uh, directing or editing. Um, and then you can go on to uh, finding out what actually you want to do, what's your job role that you aim, you aspire to be. So it could be a director and then you'd go from a runner to researcher or you can go from a, sister, a, a production assistant and you make your way up. Um, but there are, there are ways that you can get into the industry which are not formal, which is not, as I said, runner, researcher, assistant producer. You can actually go from university, like Charlie Brooker in his film, you leave university and you might think your films are totally amazing. Um, reality is when you get into the industry they may not be so amazing. Um, so you, you should, when you're at university or college, put all your time into making your films amazing so that when you send it to somebody who is an exec or is a director, they look at it and they think, wow, this is so professional, it could go onto TV or it can be broadcast in a festival. That is the aim, so that you leave and you're really professional at a high standard. Um, and I think that a lot of people believe that they can, you know, like I said, they can leave and walk into a job and that's not the reality of it. But I do know people who have left university and gone straight into being a cameraman, not an assistant, a cameraman working on prime time shows. And that's just because in university, he showed that he had the ability to create fantastic visuals in HD yeah, yeah. and they he has a professional manner and he used networking and that's how he got all his jobs just from networking at festivals emailing people ringing people um, and just making those connections